So you're thinking of moving to the beautiful Tennessee countryside. Well, that's fantastic because Mark and I are so excited to show you around some of our favorite small towns here in Houston and Stewart County, Tennessee. Folks, we're gonna take you through these unique little towns and show you what makes them so special. We're also going to show you what real estate looks like here so that you can see what may best fit within your budget. And if you hang around until the end of the video, I promise you that Chris and I are going to share with you some of the best kept secrets these special little places have to offer. We're getting after it right now. So if this is your first time to this channel and you wanna know everything there is to know about living here in Houston or Stewart County in this beautiful Tennessee countryside, then please sub subscribe below and tap that bell for notifications so that you can be the first to know about the current market here in Houston and Stewart County. My name is Chris. My name is Mark. And we are with Welcome, Welcome Home, Home Nashville, Nashville Tennessee. Tennessee. Folks, we get calls and emails from people just like you every single day looking to make their move out to the Tennessee countryside, and we absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or schedule a personalized Zoom call with us all in the description below so that we can help you make a smooth move here to Tennessee. So as we mentioned, we are in Aaron, Tennessee today, and I wanted to talk a little bit more about the area. So Aaron is located here in Houston County. It's 71 miles directly northwest of Nashville and 27 miles southwest of Clarksville. Aaron, Tennessee is known for its rich Irish heritage and the pride it takes in that heritage. Aaron is the county seat of Houston County here, and the population of the county sits right around 8,000 people or so. Aaron currently has just 1,200 residents in the community that enjoy this tight-knit, calm, quiet community feel.
So that isn't the only thing that Aaron has to offer, however. You do have a multitude of parks and natural spaces to enjoy that are rich with history. We're currently here at the Limestone Quarry located just off Main Street here in Aaron, Tennessee. This is a unique four acre park that was dedicated to the history of the local mining community here in Aaron, Tennessee. You can explore the cave behind us, but you also have the ability to enjoy the reservoir here left by the mine. Living in Aaron also gives you ample opportunity to enjoy the Tennessee River along with the Tennessee River Trail and the Cumberland River just outside of Aaron, as well as three enormous wildlife management areas just down the road. Each year here in March, everyone in Erin becomes just a wee bit Irish. That's a really bad accent. My wife actually gives me a hard, hard time about my accents. They said, she says they're all terrible. Regardless, everyone here in Erin joins in on the fun of the week-long Irish Day Parade and Arts and Crafts Festival here in Erin. It is an absolute celebration that has went off without a hitch for the 61st year this year, surprisingly being named one of the top 10 iris festivals in the entire country. With that said, the reason that they have these great festivals here is to celebrate Aaron's Irish heritage and honor the sacrifices of the Irish railroad work, uh, sorry, <coughs> rail, railroad workers, which is why you can see that railroad station right here behind me, who helped link Aaron to the rest of the world. The festival schedule consists of a pancake breakfast in the morning, followed by the sham rock and roll concert and two parades. This isn't all though. There's also a carnival and more than 120 food and craft festival and vendors for you and your family to come enjoy. And once again, become just a wee bit Irish for the day. So we are here in Tennessee Ridge now, and this city is a bit unique in that it is split between both Houston County and Stewart County. Now, Tennessee Ridge is located 80 miles west of Nashville and 32 miles outside of Clarksville. With only 1,300 residents here in Tennessee Ridge, you can consider this another tiny town here in Tennessee that offers you the opportunity to escape the busy life of the city and enjoy the rural tranquility and peace that Tennessee has to offer. Tennessee Ridge's history is a little different than the history of Erin, however, with the city's heritage coming from the Scandinavians rather than the Irish. Uh, it is similar, however, in that much of its history is owed to the railroad that was cut through the countryside here and the orchards that once populated the area. Nowadays, the railroad is no longer active and the orchards have, uh, or excuse me, the railroad has been converted to a walking path decorated by a few remaining fruit trees from those orchards for the residents of Tennessee Ridge to enjoy. One of the things that attracts residents here to Tennessee Ridge is the proximity of the town to Kentucky Lake. It's definitely not the wasp that just about hit me in the head, which they're about to die out, so they're just a little, little uh, mad at the moment. 
Anyways, so with uh, Tennessee Ridge's proximity to Kentucky Lake, uh, the, the things to know about Kentucky Lake is it's a major, major navigable reservoir along the Tennessee River, spanning both Kentucky and Tennessee, and the lake is actually the largest artificial lake by surface area east of the Mississippi River. It acts as a major source of hydroelectric power and is home to one of my favorite pieces of public land here in the state of Tennessee. That's called the Land Between the Lakes National Recreation Area, among many other national recreation areas and wildlife management areas. Now that we've told you a little bit about Aaron and Tennessee Ridge, let's go ahead and get started on our home tour. All right, folks, we are continuing on with the lakefront theme here in Stewart County. So the property we are about to show you is absolutely gorgeous. I really love it. As you can see, the lake is out behind me. That is Kentucky Lake. Absolutely incredible view you'd have off your front porch here in Stewart County. Uh, the home we're about to show you, it is a three bed, two bath right at 1,494 square feet, listed for $350,000. So that's gonna be about $234 a square foot. And uh, again, you just have an incredible, incredible view out your front yard, or out your front porch, rather. Um, we'll actually walk up there on the porch and give you, a, give you a shot so you can see, but you've got big hardwoods all around that are absolutely gorgeous. This time of year, we are in the fall right now. Uh, the road itself is actually, uh, you know, one of the things about living out in the country is you don't really have a whole lot of people bothering you. You don't have a whole lot of traffic either. And you may have noticed this gravel road we're walking on right now is actually a state owned and maintained TVA road. So you won't have to worry about the condition of your roads or anything like that. They are very well maintained here, even though they are pea gravel. I'm a big fan of pea gravel roads over your traditional kind of gray gravel. Um, just looks a lot classier in my opinion. <laughs> um, but anyways, so we're getting down to the home right now. I'll show you just behind me what the, uh, what the neighbor looks like there. Um, you've also got plenty of TVA access all up and down the banks of Kentucky Lake. There are boat ramps all over the place, tons of public land for you to access the lake and get out and enjoy nature. And then this is actually going to be our home just behind us here that is currently for sale. Again, it is listed at $350,000. It's gonna be a 3-2, sitting at 1,494 square feet. And uh, you know, folks, the view here is just absolutely incredible. I mean, you've got prairie here behind us, and then you've got the lakefront just out there down the street. 
you really, really cannot beat it here in Stewart County. So we'll walk up there to the front porch and get you a good view so you can see what you'd wake up to every day here in Stewart County. All right, folks, we made it up on this big, beautiful covered porch. I could not imagine being able to set some furniture out here and have this as your view every single day. It is absolutely gorgeous here. You really cannot beat the views, the peace, the tranquility, the seclusion. It really, really is incredible and uh, definitely one of my favorite parts of Tennessee. All right, y'all, we are out here, out by Kentucky Lake and showing uh, a really cool home that's been listed over here. Um, it's actually in the 700s and uh, you've got these amazing, absolutely amazing views of Kentucky Lake. Now, all the homes right here, this is, we're on Leatherwood currently um, in, a, in a community. Uh, there are a few restrictions and then this property right here does have some uh, restrictions with TVA. So you'll see that all these ducks are on the TVA. Uh, there are some mowing rights that come along with some of this land ownership through here. And uh, everybody is able to get dock permits to where you're able to build a dock. Uh, there's a few people that have built some ramps, uh, a few concrete ramps to where they're able to actually launch their boat from their property. So while they, they do own it technically, the TVA also owns it. So it's kind of a unique 
uh, situation where they've, they own the house up here on the land. So there's several houses right up here that you'll see, but all this land down here, like I said, everything that you do, it does have to be permitted by the TVA uh, in order to make sure that you can access this. Um, and if you have to ever rebuild your dock, you do need to get permits and stuff for that. So you can't just go uh, willy nilly do anything that you wanna do, but uh, it does provide just absolutely incredible views. I mean, you can check out all that behind me. The leaves are changing out here. Absolutely beautiful fall weather. You can hear some of that wind blowing through. Hopefully it's not too bad on the mic, but I mean, these temperatures feel fantastic out here. Now, as you see, there's a lot of character with a lot of these houses. I love that little A-frame uh, right there, along with the, uh, the garage next to it. So you got the detached garage and then this awesome little uh, uh, building, we're gonna call that a lighthouse, even though it's not a lighthouse, but it's made to look like a really cool lighthouse out here by the lake, along with additional covered boat parking, RV parking, and uh, really taking everything in. Uh, everybody out here is all about the lake life, the outdoors, and you can just tell that from all the boats, all the campers, RVs, uh, all-terrain vehicles, all the stuff that you see out here to join, uh, to enjoy the wildlife management areas and uh, all, all the outdoor space that you have to really get out, enjoy things with the family. Now, you can see there's another uh, concrete launching pad right there to make sure that you're able to actually launch your boat in without having to go down to any of the public ramps. There are a ton of public ramps here uh, in, the, in the area but it's always great when you barely have to leave your house. Now, the house that's listed for sale currently is right up that hill. So you're gonna see they've got some phenomenal views. This particular house currently listed in the 700s range. So it technically is lakefront, 700s range. It's just right around 2000 square feet. It does have a detached garage as well. Um, but the views, I tell you, the views are what makes this uh, uh, and the, the lakefront is what makes it, uh, you know, an absolute uh, breathtaking home to, to buy and give you guys that lake life, that, that quiet, just coming out, listen to the trees, listen to the wind blowing through everything, give you that life that most people are uh, looking for that come to this area. Now, as you see, they've got another driveway that takes you up on the other side here, and then several other neighbors down through here have boats, campers, like I said, a little bit of everything down through here. I'm gonna show you guys, they've got a little fire pit area right there. Uh, you'll see another dock, a couple more docks coming down through here. But if you're looking to be able to uh, affordably get out on the water uh, and, and live waterfront, this is a great opportunity um, without being so close to Nashville that can really jack up that price point a lot. So if you were to get something like this in Nashville, we're in the $2 million range to, to try to find something lakefront like this in the Nashville area. Uh, so this house right here, also uh, one of my favorites that I've seen on this street. I'm gonna show you guys that. It's got this huge double-decker porch. Check that out. It is freaking sweet. I would love to come sit out there and uh, just take in these views. I'm gonna pan back over here, show you guys, once again, the trees, the views, the lake. There is not much more that you could really ask for.
All right, folks, we are here in Ridgeview Estates. This is a beautiful new, well, it is going to be beautiful, uh, new construction uh, phase here. Absolutely gorgeous. You know, it encapsulates everything you're looking for when, uh, when country living is your goal. You know, decent sized lots out here in the rolling hills, plenty of gorgeous hardwoods behind us and uh yeah this is the last phase going into this uh into this community so um yeah hurry because uh because they're just getting all their materials out here to uh to start construction now you can see they've already got utilities in everything like that um they've got materials out here to start on the foundations they've yet to pour the roads but that is totally okay so the, uh, the particular lot we wanted to show you is just behind us. So that is going to be a three bedroom, two bath, sitting at 1,292 square feet. So that's gonna put it just over $200 a square foot. Now that is a phenomenal, phenomenal value for sure. You get brand new construction in the final phase of a development good sized lots. You're going to have plenty of mature woods around you. Really everything you could ask for when living out in the country. And we're only about nine minutes, about four and a half miles outside of town. So it's still pretty convenient while giving you that rural country feel that everybody wants when they move out here to the countryside. Absolutely love it, folks. I grew up out in the country personally. Um, this puts you right by one of my favorite pieces of public land. It puts you just a few minutes down the road from Kentucky Lake. So you really are in a phenomenal position living here in the estates if, if the outdoors are your cup of tea. You know, if you want to be near the outdoors, you want to have plenty of outdoor opportunity to recreate and get outside and take your family outside, then this is a wonderful, wonderful option. And again, where else can you find brand new construction, three bed, two bath, for $269,000? Sorry, the bugs are out after us today. It's a warmer day here today in Tennessee, for the fall anyways, and there are wasps and uh, some, some yellow jackets that have been terrorizing us and following us around all day. Anyways, folks, We've got one more stop to show you on our home tour here in the rolling hills of Tennessee. We're going to go ahead and wrap this up, head on down the road to our last stop, and then we'll wrap the video up for the day. All right, y'all. So here in Houston County, not only do they take uh, St. Patrick's Day and their Irish culture very seriously, but they take other holidays very seriously, too. And by serious, I mean providing some awesome decorations and really going all out for Halloween. One of my favorite holidays, and we're coming up on a guy that has been doing quite a bit of work here in his front yard. And it's actually really sweet what all he's got set up. Not only does he have Halloween decorations out, he's got skeletons playing beer pong and hanging out here. And we're on the main drag right here in Tennessee Ridge. I mean, that, that guy even has a funnel. So he, I know he's trying to figure out the best way that is an actual real casket, he said. He said his brother is a uh, mortician. So, like I said, a lot of, uh, lot of heritage here. He said the casket is like 150 years old, original wooden casket that he got from him. So, reason I'm walking up uh, the main drag right through here is actually to get this house. And we're gonna wait for, uh, wait for traffic to stop a little bit. But, as you see, we've got this historic house that's for sale right here behind us. Unique thing about this house is not only is it a house, it could also potentially be a commercial property or uh, residential. So whichever way you want to run with that, you can certainly do that. And I'm going to get right across the street here. Make sure let you guys check this out. It's also starting to rain a little bit. You never know about the weather here in Tennessee, but you can see some very beautiful columns here. Uh, this was actually built in the early 1900s and was built by a US Senator. So it was his home for a few years and then the family that owns it now uh, bought it then. So there's a lot of history here, beautiful columns, it's a beautiful structure. It's about 2,900 square foot and this is currently listed in the mid 300s. So as far as price points here in Tennessee Ridge, 
you're actually starting out very affordably in the low 100s range, depending on how small it is, it might need a little bit of work, and going up to around the mid 300s and up just a little bit, depending on if it's new construction or not. So as far as affordability goes, you've certainly got a lot of options here in Tennessee Ridge, Aaron, Tennessee, Houston County, and Stewart County for coming and making this place your home. We wanna thank you guys so much for following along here on our tours of Houston and Stewart County, with, along with the cities, Tennessee Ridge and Aaron, Tennessee, where we've shown you guys some great little spots and little small towns here in the Tennessee countryside, and also talked to you a little about, about the culture and heritage here of this community. So remember folks, whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or schedule a personalized Zoom call with us all in the description below so that we can help you make a smooth move out here to the Tennessee countryside. Until next time, we hope to see you around town soon.